Okay, Mike here at Sky Include Emoji Domains. People going crazy. It's the end of 2020. Maybe it's a, it's a new year phenomena, but they have no language, right? I mean, anybody can understand a smiley face or a snake or a eggplant. But uh, let's talk about some of the ways you might understand these. I just making this to try to help people. I'm going to show some screenshots right here from Discord channel from some of the people in the Namer community, Namebase put together um, of some of the issues and questions people have. You can pause the video to read the longer ones from Dees. He's amazing. He's always sharing amazing stuff. And I'm going to share some of the ways I've looked at these. Honestly, I didn't know anything much about them before I got involved with handshake but they are an amazing way for you to do like multi-language right like i said chinese english you know portuguese you know uh, you know russian everybody understands an emoji um certain ones could mean certain things and uh you know that could be a globe truly global <clears throat> and let's let's talk about some of the ways all right first of all puny coder.com is something you should learn if you haven't already learned <clears throat> so you can see you know this is the the chinese and then they all have this xn and a dash dash all right and then there's these characters that's their code right that's the puny code and it represents this right so we have uh i'll show you an example of a couple Uh, I've linked them because I can't remember how to link to them, but you can can link to them. So this is I'm, I got this for my daughter. She loves rabbits, so it's sld.tld. So we got rabbit. We call it food. It's technically curry. So Maggie's my daughter loves dot rabbit food, and it looks all funky there, right? Um, but these are the puny codes. So watch if I copy this. And pop that in this side. Girl heart. See? I could uh, take this. This will be rabbit food. Okay. Paste. Convert. Rabbit food. <clears throat> Another trick. Go into name base or any of them and then I could search by puny code there's the rabbit food see got this for one agent as an auction <clears throat> so this is the puny code this is actually what's in the browser okay I hope that makes sense um, and then you know then you just design a site but the idea is this this is um, in the browser now so people can just click this this is the link watch this there it is that's pretty cool <laughs> it's a little, still I even for me I'm feeling old here but my kids are like asking about rabbit food now and I got like robot arm for my son flamingo handshake um it's also for Chinese so like gongzo wo dian gongzo see wo Dian Kong. So all this is work in Chinese. Um, you could, it's interesting how that is staying Chinese and this is converting. But I hope this is helpful. Again, I'm just trying to have everybody here understand. So you can do this with Chinese or any language on one side convert it on this side, right? And then you could search for this on in a handshake or name base, you know, wherever. But this is actual code. This is the unique. There's nothing else. This is exact one. So the confusion is coming when something else looks similar or almost the same. All right. <clears throat> we can look at some recent uh, auctions in the market. Uh, it's hard for me to just pick one randomly. Uh, maybe we'll go into that later. Okay. I still want to just explain some overview. We'll go into the kind of complexities later. So this is a really helpful one, emojipedia.org. You can see the most popular 
again, I don't know how they calculate most popular. It's, uh, but their site's pretty extensive. So pleading face, right? So you can also copy this if you want to check this out on name base. You could just paste the emoji here, see? And then they also help you. They also convert it for you. This sold for 700 HNS on auction back in November. Um, but I could, you know, again, just trying to make you understand this. This is the code. This is the unique code for that character. Okay. So you could, you know, I've actually spent time going through this too. You could look at the top smiley, smiley faces. You know, this is, a, I'm not sure if this is ordered by top or not, but even this one's not uh, resolving for me. See? This is kind of funky. I'm in Google Chrome. It's not to be cute. You see, it's, so they'll also give you some others to look at. Face with, and this one I've seen quite a few times in auctions, but there, there's, the confusion comes is there's others. See, but this is the official auction. In fact, in July it sold. <clears throat> but this is the actual one. And notice another trick. This is so short. It's only four characters. They always will have XN dash dash, but then these characters. The longer ones are, are usually newer ones. The older ones usually are shorter, is my, um, is my uh, learning so far. Um, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. go back to, we also have a blog in this skyinclude.com slash emoji dash domains. But yeah, the, the trick is the length. So one, one thing that I would suggest if you're hunting for these, which is kind of hard, you can go to puny code and name base and max characters. If you remember what I said, it's four, but then there's also two and two. So I think that's eight. X and dash dash is two, right? So these are the shorter length ones. You see what I mean? Um, but it doesn't let you filter like smiley faces versus Chinese characters. But here you go. This is probably, you know, a um, a very original new one for, you know, premium price too. You know, you could, again, the other trick is, you can copy this and then what I would do to verify this stuff is I go to emoji sometimes I paste them in here and they don't show up it says nothing found in emoji p but this is hugging face right you can see it's it's in emoji 1.0 2015 so obviously this sounds like an original one this 1.0 right um maybe we could even see all the ones and let's see what emoji 1.0 was I mean, there's unlimited amount of work, but these are emoji. This is probably the original set of emojis. I'm assuming I have also got to dig into this more. All right. So you would get this, you know, maybe you could also search here, hugging face, right? So how far is it? I'm not sure if these are the f first ones, you know, but you can um, get an idea. So there's only this many. You can maybe count or put in Excel or it's quite a few actually. Let's see, I hope this is helping. But basically those are some tricks. But yeah, like going back to search results. Does it remember what I said? You know, it thinks like it does remember. No. Eight puny code. Because the longer ones again are uh usually Newer, which means more, not as, you know, in investing, right? Older usually is more valuable. We can do like a 16, right? See, so these are going to be longer ones. And you can, of course, sort by, let's go to lowest price, just see. So these are some really low priced ones. I'm trying to find again it's tricky it's tricky it might be a real one but what I always do is I try to copy these and I put them into emoji and uh, I see if they work 
or the real the real one is you don't even it doesn't even show up on your browser right if it doesn't even show up in your browser there's gotta be something probably wrong but I've I've done it where I've copied one it's like a smiley face that looks like like this and it says sorry not found if it's not found in emojipedia.org which I think is one one a very famous old site you can also paste it here if it says like error some of them I've seen there's no puny code that comes up in here or it doesn't convert the puny code to an actual uh thing that's that's maybe it i mean i'm i don't know you can see in the discord in a community others are also confused and there's some debate about how browsers will resolve these right but um if if there's an error they're just not as common right they might not show up on people's browsers or mobile phones you know you want these to be as co as 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 broadly used as possible so just keep that in mind you know of course if it's not a huge investment it for you you know you can take a risk but if you're putting in serious investment money into these definitely i would say know what you're buying just like anything check if it's uh, in the emojipedia is my tip uh puny coder works you know the length of it see if it was in unicode 1.0 or not um and uh and then of course it is it's an investment so are you comfortable with this not you know what's the worst you know if this is it worth if it's worth not much or less you know you might lose money so just keep that in mind i hope this is helpful again we're just trying to help people out understand um ask people in the community you know um let us know let me know we're also I'm learning this too i didn't know much about emojis before the last few months and uh it's but it's definitely a fascinating space and like i said at the beginning it's a it's a global thing um, people all understand like a smiley face right they all understand a a, a rabbit you know or a plate of food or a heart so it's definitely a very global thing and uh I, I do think it will be used more and more once this goes mainstream so i would try to i have some exposure to it as you can see um so if you're trying to diversify it seems like a good one to look at thanks again and wish you the best